really large person sitting at a tiny desk. I'm so out of proportion, I'm quite caricaturesque. If you took my picture, it would not be picturesque to see a really large person behind a tiny desk. Now I've been behind a tiny desk since I was just a child. My hands folded on top, I was the opposite of wild. But as I grew, I realized the desk didn't grow with me. I ended up wedged in here, a personified wedgie. Tiny desk, they said, sit here. Tiny desk, they made it clear. I was meant to disappear. Tiny desk, you were so small. Tiny desk, their protocol was that I wouldn't move at all. They were afraid I'd fall. Now I sit behind a tiny desk each day from eight to five. Stuck in this position, I've got failure to thrive. I dream of going home, but somehow I always find that when I get home, there's another tiny desk I get behind. Now I've worked hard to squeeze into this desk each passing year. I've scaled down my dreams and learned to listen to my fear. I thought it would protect me, but now I finally see this tiny desk is a prison and the prisoner is me. Tiny desk, my legs are numb. Tiny desk, I feel so dumb. I don't like what I've become. Tiny desk, you're so confining. Tiny desk, I know I'm whining, but you're undermining me and who I want to be. It seems I've suffered from delusion. But now I've come to this conclusion. Safety is just an illusion. There is no security. There is no security. Tiny desk, now we are through. Time to disassemble you. Every board and nail and screw. Tiny desk, you'll come apart. I'll unglue you with my heart so I can make a brand new start. And when you're finally in pieces surrounding my small chair, I'm gonna stand up and take off in the really large person sitting at a tiny desk. I'm so out of proportion. I'm quite caricaturesque. If you took my